This afternoon's review is going to be on this little item right here, which is the Glock Performance Trigger. What I plan to do is run three drills with the factory trigger, which is still in the pistol, uh, Glock 19X. Record the times, swap out the trigger, then run those same three drills again. So here goes. For these three drills, the distance will be 10 yards from the target. I'm also starting cold, so this will be the first shot of the day. Let me start that again. Bad habit. Didn't check the pistol. That was in the time of 5.87. Okay, second drill. That was in a time of an 11.96. Okay, third drill. And that was in a 2136. Okay, so here's the open package. Here is my factory trigger, which came out. And there it is, the block performance trigger. Um, I guess the way for me, to, you can tell the difference is uh, at the bottom of it, the factory trigger is more pointed and the Glock performance trigger is, uh, is, is more rounded if you look at the tip of it here. So um, already just doing some dry firing, I can feel a difference, uh, a, a big difference. So let's see how it goes.
All right, that was in a time of five seconds flat. All right, second drill. All right, that was in a time of 11.16. Okay, last drill. All All right, that was in the time of 1985. Okay, basically, so to go over my targets, which were pretty bad today. This is with the first target, with the stock trigger. Um, I also made a mistake in the first two times I did not record. So I'm going to say I did this target in about six seconds. Maybe a little faster. The second drill, which included two targets, is the first one. First target, second target. Uh, I did in a, I'm, I'm counting it as 12, but I'm pretty sure it was like 11 something. 11.36 maybe, I don't know. But, uh, not too bad for me again cold drill uh, i haven't shot this gun in and I, it's not an excuse but i haven't shot it in like forever last drill first target second target and these uh first two targets should have 10 shots on them but as you can see they don't that's the third target, which I'm actually kind of impressed with. It should have five shots on it where I was walking. I actually made four hits, surprisingly. And then the last target, which should have five shots, only has three. And again, this is the first group, all with the factory trigger. This is the first uh, drill with the Glock performance trigger. I did that in the five seconds flat. Again, it's supposed to have 10 shots. There's only uh, four, five, six. Not so good. Second drill with the Glock performance trigger. Each should have 10 shots. This is the first one. This is the second one. First one's uh, pretty bad. Second one, you know, it's not that great either. Final drill. With the Glock performance trigger, I did really bad on this one. Uh, first one, I did that drill in a 19.85. Again, supposed to have 10 shots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Second target, 10. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one where I was walking, so supposed to have five. One, two, three, four. And then the last one, supposed to have five. I've got one, two. Anyway, so basically to say, you know, I wouldn't go by my groups, but um, it was faster. All the times were faster, but that could be because I actually, you know, got used to shooting the pistol with the factory trigger initially. But I do have two Glock 19Xs here. This is the one I was shooting. This has the Glock performance trigger. And this has still the factory Glock trigger in it. They're both clear. And just pressing them at the same time I can feel that this trigger is definitely lighter than this trigger. As far as the brake, a much cleaner brake on the Glock Performance trigger. For reset, You know, it almost feels like uh, the Glock Performance Trigger has a longer reset. Yeah, yeah, the factory trigger actually has a shorter reset, it feels like. But the advantage, I guess the only really advantage I, f I see so far is the fact of it's a lighter trigger. It's a much, much, much cleaner brake. I mean, there's no comparison in the brakes. Uh, no comparison. You know. But, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with the factory trigger. I just figured I'd try it out just to see what all the hype was about. Uh, again, it is much lighter, much smoother, much crisper. The brake is the brake is absolutely fantastic, but that reset is not so great compared to the factory trigger. Yeah, that's the only that's to me category it wins in is the the factory trigger has the better reset. Everything else, the Glock trigger wins. Anyway, uh, again, it's not scientific. I'm actually not that great at doing these type of uh, reviews, but I'm, I'm trying. So, I mean, I guess uh, maybe you can take something from this today. Would I buy it? Uh, if this was my only pistol? Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 I got to get used to the fact that you can actually press the trigger like that. That's a good training tool, you know. Um, so that gives you that gives you an advantage. You don't have to keep cycling the pistol to to practice. But that break is awesome, absolutely awesome. But that reset sucks. Anyway, that's it for today.